I, I have a theory that actually someone else told me on the astral plane just now to do with this this there's a person uh, in living form that I suspect uh, is one of the soulless men here on earth and and um, the thing that I'm getting is that he can't distinguish uh, between people who are similar build and height, similar weight, and like hair coloring, skin coloring. He can't distinguish between them or feels that it's not important to. And so you'll see uh, pictures different here and there purporting to be the same person but different people as if one were an actor and one were a person and the other one that was a person was really an actor for somebody else who had a different name you know uh, like mixing up stuff and then I saw a really weird set of uh, short videos of three people for instance the woman stayed the same in several videos but the man changed off with a different man and who looked like him. And, uh, and so first it was one man, only with his face not to the camera. I was sure it was this one man. And then in another picture, a same man of similar build turned his face to the camera. It was not he. It was really weird. And then I see all different pictures of this same person. Uh, morphed with some kind of camera like technology so that he looks like a, a fat woman or a woman with many different colors of uh, hair or he looks like um, a very very old person a very very sick person a guy or sometimes a woman and uh, it's just very it was very puzzling to me you know what was going on what kind of like a mental illness perhaps and so finally today I got this suggestion on the astral plane which fits the situation to a T and it has to do with the teachings of the school of theosophy. I find many interesting teachings in theosophy that help explain some of the experiences I've had, paranormal experiences that I've had and uh, th things to do with the astral realm. And then sometimes there are teachings of theosophy that uh, that don't relate to my personal experience and I can't uh, I can't speak to them and then sometimes there are experiences that I have that can't be explained by theosophy and sometimes I have further thoughts on theosophical teachings that I feel to be basically very significant so, so that's my thought on theosophy and here is a helpful hint from what seems to me to be a teaching of the school of theosophy to do with this phenomenon that I've observed. Uh, they say that a soulless man is about to become unindividuated. In other words, it's the soul that allows a person to have a sense of individuality, of I-ness, a unique ego, for instance. And, and the soulless man is about to rejoin the animal realm, which has animal group souls. And this phenomenon that I'm seeing of him not knowing the difference between different individuals or knowing what individual he is might be construed to be an indicator that the diagnosis of soulless man is, is appropriate here. I still hold that, despite the teachings of Madame Blavatsky, I still hold that it might be possible uh, for a soulless person to find their soul while still in physical form by calling it all the time and uh, trying to align the purpose of their life and their life's mission with the purpose of their soul and their soul's mission. So. I'm not completely without hope with regard to this, this category of human beings called soulless men and women, but I do feel that in some way some, something has to happen that turns them back to the call of their own souls. 
and that's really the only salvation for them, I think. So I wish this person the very best of luck in regaining a toehold in, in humankind and not descending into the animal realm after this lifetime is over.